In today's video, I'm going to show you how to shade teapots, depending on whether you want the light to come from the right or the left. So we'll do it both ways so that you can see. We'll also do coffee cups. I have two different style coffee cups, the small cup and the taller fancy cup. And how to color the fluted edge of the saucer to the cup. For this teacup, I am going to use the marker to put the tea in because I don't mind for that to be a strong color. And actually, I only have a few colors and markers because I'm just not convinced that I need markers. I got these when they were on sale. I just got a small set. So I have to combine colors to get the color I want. And it still might not be exactly right. Now that looks like it could be coffee. A darker coffee, and that was a lighter coffee. If I wanted to change the color, I could always put a color pe pencil on top. But I don't like to use the markers very much. Here is an example. I used markers on this, and I really don't like it. I used two shades of green with the leaves, and they're fine. The, the, that's good for the leaves. The, the, I was happy with that, but I was limited on my colors, and I feel like the colors are just too bold and too strong. To try to soften them a little bit, I went over them with a white pencil to tone it down. But see, that's one of the reasons why I'm not too partial with markers, and I prefer color pencils. And I did feel like this card it would be okay, since it's all such soft colors, it would be okay to have a little bit darker color. But still, I'm not totally satisfied with those flowers. Okay, so I like to use color pencils because I have better control. This cup is printed in black ink, but you could print it in any color you want. And you could just leave it just like that if you wanted to. But I like a little bit more depth and dimension to my cups. Now, here I chose that the light is coming from this side. And so all the shadows are on the left. Um, the, the, the light is hitting that side inside of the cup. So this side is shadowed. The cup is casting a shadow right here. So that is dark. Now I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do just the opposite. I'm going to say the light is coming from this side. So that means all my shadows will be on this side of the cup. So the darkest place will be right along the edge. And then as the color comes in, it's going to get a little bit lighter. I want a little bit more color at the bottom of the cup. And then just light, lighten your touch to make a very soft. And you can always go back and darken the right side. And there seems to be a ridge or something right here. So we'll go with that. And the bottom, because the roundness of the bowl of the cup is going to be a little bit darker there. Okay, now if the light is coming from the, um, that side, then you're going to have the light hitting there. So this side inside the cup will be shadowed. It'll be the darkest right here. And then as it comes out, it gets lighter. So just kind of fade, fade, fade. Nice and dark here. All right, now, cup is coming from this way. So it's going to cast a shadow right down here. So this place will be a little darker. Right down here. And it would be nice for it to be dark against this bottom of the dish that comes up, the saucer. That contrast right there works well. And then it's going to get a little lighter as it comes up here. And that the shadow looks good on this side because now the handle stands out a little better. But this handle is still in the shadow. So we need to give it some color, but not too much color because I want the contrast here. Keep making it a little bit darker right there. And the shadow would be on the outer outer edge here. Okay, on this side, because um, this is coming up, there's going to be a little bit, a tiny bit of shadow here. So very, very lightly. We don't want white and white to touch, so you have to have a little bit of color right there 
just a slight bit of contrast. And then the bottom of the dish. We'll say the lights come in this way. We'll just put a little bit, but not too much color right here. It might have some reflective light from the table it's sitting on. So now that has a lot more dimension to it. Since he's got these two lines here, I think there probably should be a tiny bit of shading right there. Now the cup has more dimension. Um, they got a fancy handle there. Well, a teacup to me. And this has a fluted dish. See those little scalloped edges? So I wanted to give the impression that it's fluted um, with a little bit of, you know, show that ripple. Now, you can print a design. Like you, could, you may have some prints with some flowers that you could put on here. Um, you can really make the cups any color you want. You could print print them on colored paper. Um, I just chose white for a more delicate. You could even put like a small little design on the teacup. I think I have something about oh friendship is a warm cup of tea or something like that and you could put those little words on there if you wanted to i think for this one i'm going to use violet and i'm going to reverse the shadows okay here i have the light coming from this way so all my shadows are on the left and i did my colors very subtly now i'm going to do it just the opposite i'm going to have my light on the left and my shadows on the right so I want to put a little bit of it. I'm doing this lavender. And this is a very soft pencil. It's, it's indented here a little bit. Put our shadow on the right. The bottom will be slightly darker. Down here it would be darker and since there's a little bit of a curve here, I think we need to add a little indent there. Okay, so, oh, we forgot to put our drink inside. I mean, what good is a cup of tea if you don't have anything in it? And I don't like that color, so I will mix my colors. So, shadows on this side, light's coming from that way, so that means there's going to be more shadow down here. The cup is going to cast a shadow down here. I want this to look like a fluted edge. So I'm going to put a little bit of extra shadow down in where it's going to go down, kind of. And all lines should point towards the middle. Now here, where it's kind of going up and down like waves, and the shadows should be on the right, so we'll just do a little bit of color on the right side of each peak. See so our shadows are on the right, so where the peak comes up, it catches the light. Where it goes down, it's in the shadow. And then we just do lines when we come back up here. Do it very lightly. Now this little space underneath, it should be dark because it's sitting underneath. There might be a little bit of light on this side, so we'll do that side a little lighter. Just want to make sure it's dark enough right here. And a little bit of shading behind that. Okay, so the lights come in here, the light will hit there, and this will be shadowed right here fade it out so it fades away you don't want to do it too dark and then stop suddenly you want to darker lighter 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 so it fades to white okay i think it could probably have a little bit more color at the base of this 
and I've got a ring here, so we'll put some color there. Now the handle. Oops, I forgot to punch that out. Okay, so shadows are on the right. So everything that's facing the right needs to have a shadow. Everything that's facing the right. Okay. Maybe just lightly, very lightly soften without putting too much color in, trying to leave the left side white. Okay. This is what it looks like when the shadows are on the left. This is what it looks like when the shadows are on the right. This color was a little stronger than the light blue. Yeah, might even have a tiny bit of shadow right there because it bends. Okay, that looks fine, except I'm not color, I'm not happy with the color of that. So I'm gonna add just some brown color to make it look more inviting there. And that is how we do the taller fancy teacup so that it has more dimension and see it just it just looks nice didn't that look nice good a good contrast okay in this teapot i use blue my light is coming from this side so all the shadows are on the left see left shadow left shadow and to help this you know the belly of it look round you have to have shadows around the bottom um, and the handle the shadows are on the left this one I'm gonna make it pink and I'm gonna reverse the shadows so this time I want the shadows to be on the right so this right side you can choose whatever color you think is appropriate whatever will coordinate with whatever card you're making now right now I have no plan of what this card will go on I just like to have different shades um, ready for whenever I'm ready to do a a card I just got different color combinations okay so the shadow be on the right side of this. There's an indent here, so it's gonna creep over there a little bit more. Make sure it fades away. Right side shadow. Right side shadow. Since the light's coming from here, this part will be shadowed because it's on the inside. So make that dark. So it's light against dark, dark against light. Light against dark, that looks good. Okay, right here, the shadows are on the right, so we want to have a shadow on this side. Light comes from this way. I think I'll just add a tiny bit of color right there. And maybe inside here on that side, should have a little bit of color. The bottom would be more dark down here. Fade to the left, dark on the right, fade as you get to the left. Okay, the handle, shadows on the right. So everything that faces the right will have a shadow. So this is on the right, this is on the right. This is on the right, and this is on the right. I just fade a little softer coming in. And so now we have a pink toned teapot with our shadows on the right. You can use any color you choose. I might do another teapot with uh, some designs on it. But I hope this gives you a good idea on how to make your coloring to look, to look a little bit more two-dimensional.